5570. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. I didn't like the 2004 kid beat me. I was passing him on the street, I was like, I'm not losing to the kid. <laughs> So, uh, how long we got left? Two hours? Yeah, two it's hours. It's basically like three and a half hour drive. We got about two hours left and just had a lot of stop. Oh, yeah, if you see a line, like, you may as well just like, say your prayers, you're like good as dead. And I think Sam's been killed for that, or she's been hooked into the uh, two for four pound ice creams. Ironically, the drive is longer than the flights of the last two races. I'm not racing until seven, so we've got seven or so hours, so we've got traveling up on the day, which is pretty nice. Should be good, MC Car Mile Day, so good weather. Hopefully the BMC put on a little spectacle. Apparently it's the biggest ever BMC Grand Prix, 520 entries. We've got Alice coming to watch and on driving duties. Just excited to be here. Just glad to be here? Just glad to be here, yeah. Fair enough, motivational. <laughs> Let's go! Two hours before the race, uh, BMC today, British Miners Club. Everyone in the UK knows what that is, but if you're not from the UK, you might not. It's basically like the premier domestic league that we kind of have here. So this is one of the Grand Prix events, which is sort of the biggest. You have, you know, all, all range of athletes. In every event, you've probably got like A race all the way down to maybe like F or G race. Um, so yeah, I'm racing the MZ Car Mile, which is normally at like the London Diamond League or um, it was at night of the 10Ks last year. It's a pretty premier event. You've got people like um, Whiteman that's won it, Kip Sang that's won it, it's McSwain that's won it, like crazy people. This year it's like a bit more of a domestic race, um, but there's still, you know, like 354, 355 milers in it. So should be a good race. Time is irrelevant, just about getting out there racing, getting some more confidence again. So yeah, should be good. Also for this first 400. Imagine not putting them in order. Come on, where are you? Where are you? You're not on there, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Had to do. You know, I thought, I thought, you know, I said when you win, you've got to sign a book. Yeah. Well, what you do is all the competitors have to sign it. So you have a. I just took a picture because I was like, no one's going to believe what this is. All the competitors sign it and then they print the name of all the people next to it. And then the winner will sign the winner's signature and they so print the results. The yeah, yeah, so now I'm at least, even oh, if you don't cool. win. So you have all the people. So like, Sebastian Coe there. So I, I, I don't, it's only yeah, 2017, so I doubt it. <laughs> Unless he was on a wheelchair. <laughs> What's funny is how different the signatures are. So like 2017, Whiteman signed it there. So that's what he signed before the race. Right. It must be his nervous hand. Yeah. Like a bit of wobble. Oh, and then that's he's the, probably that, gone that, that, that. probably got that. That's exuberant, that one, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty cool. The day, the usual. No, Cambridge. White and blue. Oh, are you? Yeah, I thought I'd just go for the club best club well, event. All the fans I can. All my two people who know me, four hey, people who know me. You've got 10k views on YouTube. Yeah. You're yeah. looking last night. Are you not giving up the pod then? You said you were going to give up the I am. The pod. I'm giving up the podcast when we hit the big time. Oh, me and Charlie. Oh, yeah. really I'll, get, I'll sub you in if you want. You could be going on the podcast so with the boys. The Discount code Sarah for free subscription <laughs> to the YouTube channel. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. Is this it for the race? Maybe, yeah. Oh, that'll look, that's a look cinematic. There we go, slow mo that. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, I literally just finished. Um, first lap good, 
Second lap shit, third lap worse, fourth lap good. Uh, I ran fourth lap, so not the end of the world, but Jesus. I need to sort out the middle of the race. I think the problem is when, I'm, when I can see that there's a gap ahead of me and I need to overtake a guy to close the gap, I can't find it in my legs to accelerate. So I think we need to try and do something in training where during reps, I'm changing the pace, like whether it's a, like a 50 meter burst or you know, running hundreds at alternating place or something, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm not disappointed with it because I'm glad that I got a good racing and, you know, I, I beat some half decent guys, but yeah, just weird. Like, I don't know if I'm psyched out or what, but I can't run the middle of the race. Yeah, the results are wrong. It says around 4.13 yeah. and I came last. <laughs> I was like, what? I thought I was passing people. And it, I looked like I was making hard work of it. He thinks I was quite like, it looked like it was hard compared to when I, when I started moving you, and I'm really upright, are, yeah. it looks yeah. like I'm doing well. You know when the group started to move away and I was in the and second you, and group, the dude in front of I, you, yeah. I needed to pass him and yeah. join that group. Yeah. And I know it, and at the time I'm going, come on, yeah. I can't, my legs won't legs move. Legs. And look, imagine being disappointed running four flat for a mile. That shows how my standard has got so much better. But at the same time, it's like, I, when I was in the race, I ran really well, but I'm not in the race, you know? It was weird, like, the first lap, great, I've gone through. When it started to segregate and it got tire, tiring, I need to go around and just connect onto him. Mm. But it's good learning, and it? Last 200 was yeah. Yeah. insane. You, yeah, but really I, I, and yeah, and I, I, and I appreciate the combat, and it was good, but I can't keep... No. You get to a certain level where, you, you know, if, if, you go, if I go to a normal BMC meet, or I go to a Southern League, that wins you any race, yeah. wins you most races in England. You come and play with people that are actually really good runners. Everyone's got a good last 200, and I only ran that fast. I, I ran faster than the people that beat me in the last 200, yeah. but they ran the other 1,400 quicker than me, so yeah. it means nothing, do you know what I mean? Do you know what's good? I didn't let the 2004 kid beat me, the kid that was born in 2004. <laughs> I was like, don't listen to the kid. I was passing him on the street. I was like, I'm not losing to the kid. <laughs> yeah, just finished. Uh, MZ Carmel came fifth. It's, again, I'm trying to be really transparent in these videos and give you like a, a, a genuine insight without kind of rambling or giving you like such an automated response of like, oh, it was okay, like blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's difficult. I can't pinpoint exactly why I'm not kind of running with that real kind of like fight and just like grit I don't know what it is ran 4.0001 so four flat you know which is a decent enough mile um, but when the winner's doing 355 you're thinking how are you four seconds behind you know you really got to get yourself up there so I, honestly I can't put my finger on what it is again it's a difficult one I'm not disappointed with my performance because I think I did give everything what I'm disappointed with is this mental block of like why am I not at the front you know running why am I not closing up those gaps and being like right be at the front because I run my best when I'm running to win I need to put myself in a position where on that last lap I'm up there and I've banked some time and yeah I know it's gonna be hard but I need to be able to do it so yeah again I'm talking like I'm disappointed but it shows how far I've come that my season openers have been a 358 mile 340 1500 a four flat mile like in the grand scheme of things it's not like the world's falling down but I just really want to break through and, and have that race but yeah end of May three races done I've got two weeks now to get some hard training in. I'll probably try and get at least three kind of good sessions in and take Nick's kind of feedback of how we might be able to improve and then go again. 10th of June, 1500 and yeah, just really try and get up there and get after it again. I'm, I, I'm positive. I know it's going to come at some point in the season. I just don't want it to be right at the end of the season, finally get a breakthrough. I want to build some momentum and get after it. But I've had three very different racing environments now with kind of like big names in America race, a 1500 and kind of the middle of nowhere where it was all about times and then here in front of British crowd with people I know cheering me on that kind of thing so racing wise I'm less nervous I'm more into it hopefully I'll get some momentum it's just I've not walked away from one of the races buzzing yet with a smile on my face it's it's difficult but everyone's in the same boat so yeah thanks for watching the video um, subscribe to the channel to see what else happens later on in the future um, and yeah hopefully I'll bring some good news in the next video Cheers. Yeah.